All right. So today I'm going to talk about the Ray Via Ferrata. So what's a Via Ferrata? Via Ferrata is Italian for Ironway, and it is basically an aided climbing route. What that means is you have steps, you have anchor points, you're always anchored to the rocks, so you're never fully exposed. It's kind of a bridge where you can go, if you have hiking skills but not technical rock climbing skills, you can still go and experience a lot of the excitement that you would get if you were rock climbing. Now, I'm sure rock climbers might disagree with that, but for an average hiker like myself, it was really cool. Uh, I'm going to shut up and let you see the course. Is it on? <laughs> yeah. Start of every GoPro. Are we going? All right, I need you to wait a second and see what's going on with this stupid GoPro. Looks like it's recording. Yeah, but why won't it stop? <laughs> you gotta let go. Pull the end. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got you. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get a photo here. This is a really cool silhouette. I'm okay. Do this early. Maybe go one hand, one foot. <laughs> Maybe just one hand. Awesome. That's cool photo. <laughs> you gotta do one hand, one foot. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later.
Oh, you're almost done. Uh, On the plus side, burgers. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that was awesome. awesome. Yeah. That was a good so time, man. Awesome. Good. I found you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. If you want to do a Via Ferrata, you do need some specialized gear. You need a climbing harness, you need a helmet, you need gloves, and you also need a Via Ferrata lanyard. Now, a Via Ferrata lanyard is unique. You can't just tie a rope, get a carabiner, hook it to the harness and go. Via Ferrata lanyard has two carabiners and a shock absorber. You accelerate very quickly as you fall. If you're all of a sudden stopped with nothing to kind of soften that fall, it's really going to hurt. The shock absorber slows you down as you get towards the end of, of the lanyard so that the force of the fall and catching isn't as bad. Definitely want to be a Ferrata lanyard. Don't go on Amazon and buy some cheap, oh, hey, this one's only $35. The Black Diamond one's like $150. do not do that. You're trusting your life to this thing. So get something that's rated and it's for climbing use. As far as other gear, just wear clothes that are appropriate for an outdoor activity. Any kind of hiking shoes that you would use on rocky terrain are going to work great. Trail runners, you don't need rock climbing shoes or canyoneering shoes. You're going to want a backpack, water, snacks, camera. Phone works really well in this. I wore a helmet mounted GoPro and that's it. You're ready to go. So you're saying to me, I don't have a VF Rattle lanyard. Good alternative and it also supports the local community, get a guide. That's what Tina and I did. We had everything but the lanyard, so we got the guide, brought us lanyards. We use Basecamp Uray. They're right off the main drag. The guide's name that we had was Xander, and he's just really knowledgeable. He's a local from the town. He knew about the ice farm. He showed us around. He actually helped build the Via Ferrata, so he was able to give us all sorts of history and details about the Via Ferrata and the route and why they picked that. Just a great experience all around. Another good thing about Xander, he's a really good photographer. He was out in front of Tina and I and was able to get a bunch of pictures of us together that uh, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get. Not to mention, I'm not as good a photographer as him, so I wouldn't have got pictures that were as good. So lots of pluses to get that local guide. So I'll put a link in the description for Basecamp Uray. Uh, just tell them I sent you. Now, the Via Ferrata was put together by a, a group of local climbers who decided that looks like a radical path. Let's go make a Via Ferrata there. Uh, they're nice enough to share that with anyone who wants to go. So I'm going to put a link to their page in the description. They take donations. They're part way to their goal of funding when you go there, it's well built, it was difficult to build, and it's got to be maintained. So if you're going to go, there's no permits, there's no fees, but you know, it's cool to support the people who built the thing, maintain it, and the local community. On to the Via Ferrata. First thing you're going to probably ask is parking, roads, how are those? The road going up there, it was fine for any vehicle. It's paved most of the way, gravel right towards the end. Pretty decent parking lot, but get there early. It's popular, it gets crowded. I believe there was an overflow parking lot further down. I don't like walking any further than I have to. So get there early, any car will make it. Head up to the Via Ferrata and there's a gate there. I believe they open at eight, but you can look on the website. We were there with Xander, he knew the guy that was working the gate. I'm not sure what the exact purpose is other than to just kind of keep track of who's going through, maybe regulate how many people are on there. But, um, you know, respect the rules, wait till the gate opens. That's it. You just go and get started. Something else I think I should mention is there is a short little training course before the gate. Not a bad idea if you haven't done something like this, go check that out, you know, see what your comfort level is. If it's freaking you out on the beginner course, you, you might not want to do the Via Ferrata. There are bailout points, but it is a long walk. You still have to go a good ways on the course itself to get to the bailout point. It is one way traffic and it's not like you're going to turn around and go back the way you came and say, this isn't for me. There's going to be somebody behind you. You're committed. 
So this Via Ferrata, there's another one that's been open longer that's in Telluride that's in the area. The Uray one is more physical, I would say. It has a tightrope, it has bridges, it has more climbing straight up rocks on uh, rungs that are attached directly into the rock face. I, I can't recommend one over the other, but I really enjoyed this one. Brand new, way overbuilt, extremely safe. If I had to pick, I would say do both because these things are really fun. It took us about two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes. We weren't in a hurry, but we weren't going slow. We were enjoying it. It's about one and three quarters miles. It's not really about the distance. It's about the experience and how much is crammed in there. All right. So that's the Uray Via Ferrata. Can't recommend it enough. Can't recommend the town enough. There's a ton to do there. Base Camp Uray, great. Xander was awesome. Also, if you're in town, you like burgers. Maggie's Kitchen, probably the best burger that I've had. That's all I got. If you like what you see, go check it out. Dang it. Stop it. GoPro turn off. GoPro power off. Ick. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a great place for a break. Early exit bail point. <laughs> you got to make it all the way to there before you can bail. Yeah, it's, it's like 35%. Somebody's got to be like, oh. <laughs> or, you know, or you can just go down the center, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's no style points out here. Ah, oh, crap. There's the bridge already. <laughs> how, did, how did that happen so fast? <laughs> On the plus side, burgers. Burgers.